Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today we're going to talk about The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. A movie based on this book came out a few years ago and that's the main reason why I decided to read it in the first place. Now, the movie, in my opinion, is not exceptional, but it's not a complete waste of your time. I watched it because I found the premise interesting and I also liked the group of actors involved. And for some reason, ever since I watched it, I felt that the book will be a more compelling and better version of the story. And boy, was I right. If you hated the movie, go read the book. It's so much better. If you love the movie, go read the book. It's so much more. The Time Traveler's Wife is Audrey Niffenegger's first novel. It's the story of a man named Henry who has a strange biological disorder which makes him uncontrollably travel through time. This condition affects his marriage to Claire and raises questions related to free will, destiny, and time. From the very first chapters, you already have a sense of ambition. You clearly feel that the author is determined to write a great book. And I will point out again that this is her first novel, just so I can underline the word ambitious. Audrey Niffenegger takes her time in grounding the story. It is carefully structured and offers the perspective of both protagonists. Each chapter starts by telling us the name of the protagonist we are about to follow and the age and date we are about to see him in. Because of the time travel effect of the story, sometimes we see our characters at different ages but at the same time. The author makes sure to set the stage from the very beginning. We get to know the characters, we get to know the situation, and then we get to understand some rules. We understand the limitations and consequences of time travel. And we learn about it all alongside the characters. There is even an attempt at getting a biological explanation to Henry's condition. For all this care, for all this attention to detail, and for all this build-up, Miss Niffenegger, I applaud you. I applaud your passion and craftsmanship. But what I mentioned above are just the aesthetics, the technicality. To all that, we must add the different layers a story has and should be expected to have. The dimensions created by these characters and their decisions made within this time bubble. Everything influences your reading experience and manipulates your emotions. This is not a perfect novel but it's definitely one that gets under your skin and lingers. Highly recommend it. You may or may not like it, but at least give yourself the chance to try it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my reviews. If you want to hear more reviews, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner. And if you have friends interested in books and stories, then don't forget to share my channel with them. I hope everyone is staying safe. Don't forget to be kind and to keep on reading. I'll see you next time.